everyone, it's Easy, and today we are covering the Kill Squad. This is another introduction to Classic Clans video, and the Kill Squad is part of a three-star strategy, and it is one of the most important parts of the game. Um, it, it, this is uh, a heavily debated part of the game. There's a lot of people that use it. There's a lot of people that don't use it. So, for those of you that are new to the game, we are going to go over what the Kill Squad is, why you want to use it, and I'm going to strongly encourage you to incorporate this into your game as soon as possible. It will make you a better player, and if anything, it will help you plan out your attacks better. So, the first part of using a Kill Squad, step one is to scout the base. The, and that's one of the advantages to using a Kill Squad. The Kill Squad is a separate group of troops that you're going to bring into your attack to perform certain tasks and carry out certain objectives. First of all, you want to um, pull the clan castle troops out and kill them. In this picture that you see right here, there's a bunch of different things here. One of says it shows the trigger zone, the queen walk, the lower the clan castle troops, the kill the clan castle troops, the poison the clan castle troops. This is all part of the kill squad's job to pull out the clan castle troops of the enemy to kill them and then to continue on the attack and then at that point take on secondary objectives. So this is a picture of a typical uh, kill squad encounter with you pulled out their clan castle troops, a dragon comes out, then you put in a golem, their clan castle dragon starts attacking your golem, and then you'll put in the wizard to kill the clan castle troops while they're attacking the golem. That way you have something tanking for your troops, which are the wizards, which will kill their troops. Sounds complicated, but it's really not. Now, I, I, I drew this up for Nirvana so she could have an idea of... of what she wants to do in this next upcoming attack for the for the video um, So in this attack what she does is she has a queen walk the queen walk is going to help kill the clan castle troops and help funnel She has the, the golem in there to tank for the wizards the wizards are in there to kill the clan castle troops and then she puts a uh, Pekka in front of the main body of troops to, to try to trip some giant bombs so they don't knock out all the Valkyries which is her main body of troops so here, uh, this is just um, another illustration of the clan castle pole and what she wants to do. And in this next picture here, this is the next step, which would be to funnel the main troops into the core of the base, uh, to drop a heal into the, whole, into the core of the base. And um, the, the last final step would be to put a jump in the back side of the base and then send the, some more wizards around the outside to clean up all the trash buildings around the outside. So, that was the plan. Uh, let's see how it goes. This, this attack was done after we kind of looked at all of the different pictures and we had talked about it for a little while. Um, I haven't seen the attack yet, so it's going to be interesting to see exactly uh, if she pulled off everything that we had illustrated. It's, and one thing you'll notice is, is that it doesn't always work out the way you, you plan. So while we're watching the attack, I want to get into this kill squad a little more. Um, right here you can see that that's the trigger zone for the clan castle troops. Now, I know you're thinking, this is a video for the Kill Squad. Why are we talking about pulling clan castle troops? And why are we talking about funneling troops? And why are we talking about the main body troops? And all these other things. Well, that is all incorporated in the Kill Squad. The, it, the Kill Squad has an intricate part on several different layers of the attack. So, that's why it's kind of complicated and kind of a complex theory. And kind of difficult for a lot of people to use a Kill Squad. And also, because there's not one particular Kill Squad... It's a, it's a number of different combinations of troops. So here, during the, the attack, okay, she has the golem in. The golem went in front to tank for the wizards. The wizards came in, and she dropped a poison, and there goes the, there goes the clan castle dragon. Uh, the golem went in, and actually, the, the pikas were supposed to trip the giant bombs, but the golem already did that. The golem tripped the giant bombs. Oh, now the pikas trip a couple more, and in come the valkyries. The valkyries are going towards the core of the base. And we will see a heal spell pretty soon, I'm thinking. <laughs> and then a jump on the back side. And not bad. Um, the, the clan, she put her clan castle troops up top. That's fine. Um, sometimes the plan doesn't go exactly as planned. because uh, Just because of the way the attack goes. So, back to the kill squad. <clears throat> I'm going to repeat the same thing several times. Just... So everyone has a really good understanding of the theory behind it. Okay, the kill squad is a group of troops that you're going to put in 
ahead of your actual main body of troops. Normally your kill squad will kill their clan castle troops. And then in addition to that, your kill squad will enter the base and then take care of secondary objectives. In this particular attack, the secondary objectives were to trip the, trigger the giant bombs. Um, your secondary objectives might be to kill or, or take out one or two of the air defenses if you have dragons or, or you have a, an air attack. Or it may be to kill the queen, it may be to kill the king. All of these are very important secondary objectives. And she actually attacked really quick with her main body of troops after the kill squad. And, and I know a lot of people, their kill squad will die out completely before they actually put the rest of their troops in. Uh, now here in this attack... The kill squad is actually just the queen. Um, Sable pulled out the clan castle troops with a hog. Uh, they came out, she laid down two poison spells, put down the queen and a couple of wizards to help out. And, and a witch. And now at this point she's going to start the actual part, uh, main part of her attack. Which is actually going to be the flex. So now she put down uh, some bo a bowler walk. And she's going to put a bunch of troops in the, in the center of the base. And then push a bunch of troops into the core of the base and then try to do a queen walk around the outside bottom and a bullet walk around the outside top. <clears throat> so this was a good example of a, a different type of kill squad. This particular kill squad was just the queen and the healers and a couple wizards. So um, again, the kill squads are not going to be the same troops every time. Um, a very popular kill squad would be uh, to pull the clan castle troops out, let's say with a hog rider, the clan castle troops come out, and then you anchor them into a corner with an archer or something, and they, they, the clan castle troops go all the way into the corner, trying, going after the archer, and before they get there, you can drop a witch, and the witch starts spawning skeletons, so now the, the clan castle troops are going after all these skeletons, and then you, then you put in a couple of wizards behind the witch, or, or the queen behind the witch, and next thing you know, the, the clan castle troops are dead, and you have a you have a queen, you have a, uh, a witch, and you have several wizards ready to hit the walls and start penetrating the base and taking care of some of those secondary objectives. So, kill squad, once again, is a group of troops that you're going to use to kill their clan castle troops, and then penetrate the base and take care of secondary objectives. Okay. Trying to keep these videos pretty short, you have been officially introduced to the Kill Squad in Clash of Clans. It is part of a 3 star strategy that you are going to want to try to use on every attack. So, I appreciate you for staying till the end of the video. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, until next time, this has been Easy. Take care everyone.